No music. <laughs> That's all right. I guess we'll go without music today. No, there's two speakers. There are two speakers, but they're not paired and ready. Um, even though I can get one at least. Reach up over your head, inhalate your fingers, palms up to the sky, lift, inhale. Off to your right, exhale, it's just the arms, you guys, mostly. Your upper body still stays fairly upright, so it's not about the depth you get into the side stretch, more about the lengthening through the left side of the ribs. 
weight still evenly distributed between your sits bones back into the center inhale shoulders lift up towards the ears exhale off to your left again lifting through the right side of the rib cage right around the shoulder blade wrapping slightly in to front back in the center inhale take your arms apart left arm um, outer edge of your right thigh right hand behind you a gentle touch of the back hand behind you using your left arm to pull your left shoulder forward external rotation of your right shoulder so you're rolling your right shoulder up and down Draw through, look through the collarbones as if you're trying to square your chest towards your right side. Back to the center. On the other side, right hand, outer edge of your left thigh. Left hand gently behind you. Again, maybe roll the left shoulder up and open and drop it down. A little bit of a pull off the right arm. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of a traction there oh, the birds and geckos frogs back to the center alex and i had a discussion yesterday about whether those are frogs or geckos and he thinks they're frogs and i think they're geckos and we agree to disagree <laughs> find your way onto your hands and knees A little movement here whatever shows up um, maybe actually big circles through the torso uh, start clockwise so it's kind of a cat cow but in a circular motion you're shifting your weight a little bit side through one side to another as you come up through the spine and then dropping your belly as you circle off down and then whenever you complete full circle reverse the direction so go the other way what, whichever way you started, reverse. And then pausing when you again done even amount of circles, pausing in the cow posture, so chin into the chest or the head is dropped down. You're pushing the mat away, digging with the fingertips, hollow out the belly, hug the chest in, and really round through the upper back. Notice if you can push a little further away from the mat, can you slightly shift your weight further over your knees, just a slightly, just so you can straighten the arms and really push through the arms. And then dropping the belly down, pausing there, lifting the gaze. Notice if you're dropping into the shoulder blades, you're still protracting through the shoulder blades, brought through the collarbone. Finding a neutral, shift away all the way back into child's pose. Lift your fingers up as if somebody is pulling them back in towards your face. The heel of the wrist is on the mat. Beautiful, back to front, shoulders past the wrist. Maybe you even drop the hips down, arms are straight. So it's kind of a cobra-ish, but this weird one. Let's do that two more times. Back into the heels, lift the fingers, stretch through the palm of the hand. Really active through the fingertips. Chin into the chest, round, come back to front, all the way, shoulders past the wrist, drop the hips. We'll lift through the heart, and then one more time into child's pose, long. Again, find a, a really long stretch through the palm of the hand and the fingers back to neutral, tabletop, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. A little pedal out through the feet. Long through the arms, fire up your armpits, roll your armpits in towards each other, towards your heart. Walk the feet all the way to the front of your space, standing forward fold. I like to keep my feet apart just a bit, bend your knees generously, don't be afraid. Now fingertips on the mat, maybe suction cup is a little spider fingertips. Lean your way back into your heels, lift your toes up off the mat. Use your hands to balance here, obviously bend your knees as much as you need. Back into your toes, lift your heels up off the mat. Again, 
bend into the knees, close the space between your ribs and your thighs. With your breath, back into the heels, lift the toes up. Back into the toes, lift the heels up. One more set, back into the heels, lift the toes, use the hands to balance. One more time, back into the toes. Release the heels onto the mat, find a neutral through the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches forward, lengthen through the spine, exhale, hold. Two more, just like that. Inhale, halfway up, telescope the ribs, crown of the head reaches, spacious around the neck, exhale, hold. And one more, halfway up. Exhale, fold, beautiful. Slowly through bent knees, round all the way up. Keep the arms hanging heavy. Maybe shake them out a little out of the shoulders as you come up. When you do come up, roll the shoulders up and back. Big circle in, maybe one more. Big circle in, palms of the hand open towards the front of your space. Beautiful. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hinging at the waist, forward fold. I wish I had my sunglasses on. <laughs> they lift, flat back. Plant your hands, step back to plank, fire up your legs. Inhale here, knees or not, forward, elbows in, halfway down. Inhale through your up dog, heart comes through. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Tippy toes, inhale, bend your knees, look where you're going, step or float, front of your space. Halfway lift, crawl your chest up, exhale, release. All the way up, arms reach over the head, hands to heart, bring it in. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, empty your breath, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your hands, step or float, chaturanga mid plank. Inhale, heart comes through. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. High on the tippy toes, bend your knees, look where you're going, step or float. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release. All the way up, arms reach. Hands to heart, bring it in. Utkatasana, chair pose, shift the way back into the heels. Right arm down and back, simple twist, keep the knees, hips in place. Back to center, inhale. Left arm down and back. Back to center, stand up, look up, reach up, lift. Empty your breath, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your hands, step or float, chaturanga, mid plank. Inhale, heart comes through. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts up and back, long. Knee to nose, bring it in, round shoulders move forward over the wrist. Three legged dog length. Right leg steps all the way in, left heel goes down, warrior one, rise. Stay for exhale, inhale here. Arms go down, frame the foot, left knee finds the mat, lift up through the chest, keep your fingers down. Half splits, bring it back. Beautiful, back to front, plant your hands, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, three-legged plank, right leg extends long. Side plank, off to your right, open. Stack the hips, stack the shoulders. Right arm finds the mat, three-legged plank or plank. Forward elbows in, lower halfway down. Inhale, heart comes through. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up and back, long. Knee to nose, bring it in, round. Three-legged dog, lengthen. Step your left foot all the way in, right heel goes down. Warrior one, rise. Stay for exhale. Inhale here. Arms go down. Frame the foot. Right knee finds the mat. Chest lift. Inhale. Lean into your left hip. Half splits. Bring it back. Flex your front foot. Lift the chest. Back to front. Plant your hands. Three-legged plank. Left heel leads back. Drop your hips low. Side plank. Off to your left. Open up. Breath. Stay for exhale. Inhale here. Back to plank or three-legged. Forward elbows in, lower halfway down. Feel free to find your knees if you need to up dog. Roll over your feet, downward facing. 
Tippy toes, inhale, find the slowest steady rhythm. Bend your knees, look where you're going. Step or float. Halfway left, flat back, exhale, release. Open through the sit bones. One more, just like that. Halfway lift, crown of the head reaches spacious around the neck. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, rise. Left arm down and back first, check in with your knees. Keep your hips in place, back to center, chair. Right arm down and back. Back to center, stand up, look up, reach up, lift through the chest. Exhale, empty your breath, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, heart come through. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Left leg lift, up and back. Knee to nose, round, push the mat away. Three legged dog, lengthen. Left leg steps in, right heel goes down. Warrior one, rise. You go right back down, arms go down, right knee finds the mat. Left through the chest. Exhale, half splits, bring it back. Back to front, plant your hands, stack your back toe, lift your back knee, three legged plank, hold. Inhale, off to your left, side plank, breath, stay, one more inhale, back to plank or three-legged plank, again feel free to find your knees, halfway down, inhale, heart come through, roll over your feet, downward facing dog, right leg lifts up and back, long, knee to nose, bring it in, round, three-legged dog, lengthen, Step your right foot all the way in, left heel finds the mat, arms rise, inhale, right back down, exhale, left knee finds the mat, chest lifts, inhale, half splits, flex the front foot, lift the chest, back to front, plant your hands, back toe, knee up, three-legged plank, hold, breath in, and an exhale, side plank, off to your right, open, again, stay for inhale, exhale, Back to plank or three-legged forward, elbows in, halfway down. Inhale, heart comes through. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. High on the tippy toes, bend your knees, look where you're going, step or float. It is so humid. <laughs> halfway lift, inhale, exhale, release. All the way up, arms reach over your head. Hands to heart, bring it in. Utkatasana, chair pose, again, find your shape. Yay. You are just hanging there, checking with the curvature at your low back. All of these guys are looking awfully good, so I can't really say anything. If your feet are together, your knees are to, uh, together. If your feet are apart, your knees are apart. So just watch out for that. And then check in with the curve at the low back, so if you like Dumping in too much, you want to pull that in, but you're not tucking your tail under either. So there's a natural diagonal curvature through the back. If your arms are dying, feel free to bring them to heart center. Notice where you're struggling the most and kind of try to take the awareness away from that place. So if your legs are the ones that are dying, shift your awareness to your pelvic floor or to your belly. If your arms are dying, shift your awareness to your legs. A little distraction always helps. Inhale here. Forward fold is your release. Again, suction cup the fingertips a little back and forth again. Inhale onto your toes, lift your heels. Exhale back onto your heels, lift your toes. Again, one more time. Inhale, lift the heels, drop the head and neck. Exhale onto your heels, lift your toes. Onto a neutral, notice the difference. Have a lift, inhale, activate, plant your hands, step or float through your vinyasa, inhale through your up dog, roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Nice. Can you guys hear me back there well? Yeah. Okay, good, good to know, just checking, because you're so far away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the acoustics on the porches. I'm gonna have to work through that. <laughs> Inhale here. Out of your mouth, let it go. Another breath in. Out of your mouth, let it go. 
Right leg lifts, up and back long. Knee to nose, bring it in round. Push the mat away. Three legged like dog, lengthen again. Right leg steps in between your hands, low lunge. Stay here. Come on top of your fingertips, lift your upper body off the mat. Prepare, take an inhale here, warrior three. Start shifting forward and up. Maybe hands come to heart center. Draw your left hip down, breath in. Check in with the body. Right knee bends, long step back. Left knee finds the mat, half splits. Yes, and back to warrior three again. We're gonna do this twice more. Coming back and up, inhale. Exhale, long step back, left hip finds the heel. One more time, coming back and up, warrior three. Take a moment, step your left foot back, arms rise, high crescent. Left arm forward, right arm back, open to standing twist. Inhale here, stay for an exhale, another inhale, keep your arms as they are. Start lowering your left arm down, keep your arms in a T. Plant your left hand inside of your right foot. Inhale here, hollow out the belt. Yes, take an exhale, another inhale. Coming back up all the way to warrior two. Open up, windmill your arms apart. Settle into your legs. Up and over, reverse, lift your left side up. Really deep extended side angle. Find the floor, left arm reaches over your head. Find the depth through your legs. Keeping strong through your legs, up and over again. Arms go down, frame the foot. Plank or three-legged plank. Halfway down. Inhale through your up dog. Roll over your feet, downward facing. Left leg lifts, up and back long. Knee to nose, bring it in, round. Three-legged dog lengthen. Left leg steps in, low lunge, stay right there. Lift your upper body off the knee, prepare, long through the arms. Shift forward, coming up, warrior three, inhale. Stay for exhale. Another inhale, left knee bends, big step back, hips go all the way back, stretch through the front leg. Back to warrior three, coming up, lift and expand. Left knee bends, step it back, right heel goes back. Yes, one more time, warrior three, coming up. Left knee bends, step it back, arms rise, high crescent. Right arm forward, left arm back. Try to keep your hips in neutral as best as you can. Keeping here, the right arm starts coming up. Keep your arms in the T. Right arm plants, left arm up. Hollow out the belly. Lift your right hip slightly back up. Warrior two, so coming up and over. Yes, up and over, reverse, lift. Extended side angle, deep one. Left arm finds the ground, right arm reaches. Find an extra space through your legs. Back to reverse, strong through your legs. Arms go down, frame the foot, plant your hands. Three-legged plank or plank is next. Halfway down, feet, feel free to find your knees. Inhale, up dog. Roll over your feet, downward facing. Inhale here. Out of your mouth, let it go. Another breath in. Out of your mouth, let it go. Right leg lifts, up and back, long. Knee to nose, round. Three like a dog lengthen. Right leg steps in, low lunge, stay. Come on top of your fingertips, lift your upper body, crown of the head reaches. Coming up and forward, warrior three. Breath in. Right knee bends, step it back, hips go back, half splits. Back to warrior three on your inhale, make it as smooth as you can. One more, back and into the heel. One more time, warrior three coming up. Left leg steps back, arms rise, high crescent. Left arm forward, right arm back, pause. Slowly start lowering your upper body into the low lunge twist. Take a breath in, equal, find some stability. And then coming back up, open warrior two. Up and over, reverse. 
to extend its side angle, right arm deep in. Stay there for another breath. Length through the legs, left uh, quad super tight. Back to reverse again, listen. Arms go down inside of your right foot. Maybe you step your right foot slightly further out. Maybe you lower down onto your left knee. Maybe you, you don't, up to you. Inhale here. If you have even more space, find your way onto your forearms. Maybe the right foot rolls out on the outer edge. Maybe the right knee goes back. If you want to bring your left foot in, you can reach for it with your right arm if you have that. Now you don't have to do it through your forearm, you can do it through your extended arm, just depends where you want to take this. Now while you're holding here, you guys, most of you are connected, keep the hold of the back foot and shift your hips back to half split so you straighten the front leg. Just notice what that feels like. I kind of like it, it's weird, but I like it. All right, back to front. Release the foot, right arm goes down inside of your right foot. Now crawl your right foot slightly and bring your knee in towards your shoulder. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee so when you're in low lunge, arms inside of your foot. Draw your left heel down, open the hip, come back to warrior two. Straighten your right leg up and over reverse triangle. Arms go to a T. Crawl your back foot in a little. Reach, reach, reach. Trikonasana. Thighs scissoring towards each other. Stack the shoulders over the ankle line. Hug the right hip under. Lifting up by the upper arm. Firing up your right side obliques. Breath in. Beautiful. Look down for balance, right knee bends, arms go down, frame the foot actually. Three-legged dog, right leg goes super long, bend your right knee, flex your foot. Shoulders shift forward over the wrist, supported side plank or flip dog. Oh. You crawl yourself back into plank or onto your knees, forward elbows in, lower halfway down. Inhale, heart comes through, shoulders back and down. Roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Out of your mouth, let it go. Another breath in. Out of your mouth, let it go. Left leg lift, up and back, long. Knee to nose, bring it in. Three legged dog, lengthen. Step your left foot in, low lunge, stay. Inhale on top of your TP, uh, fingertips, pull the belly in, exhale here. Inhale, coming up, warrior three, breath in. Left knee bends, big step back all the way to half splits, flex the front foot. Back into warrior three, as smooth as silk. Back into half splits, right foot steps all the way back, flex the front foot. Into warrior three, again. High crest on this or exit this time. Step your right foot back, arms wrapped. Right arm forward, left arm back. Open, keep the hips in place. Inhale. Exhale, start lowering your arms. Plant your right arm down, left arm in. Pull your right hip slightly back and up. Stay for exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Open, warrior two. Up and over, reverse. Lift your left side up. Deep extended side angle, find the floor. You're staying here for two breath cycles. Hug the left hip under, inflate the space at your low back with your belly. Right quad is your best friend here. Strong through the legs, all the way up into reverse. Arms go down inside of your left foot. Right knee finds the mat or not, up to you. Maybe crawl your left foot slightly further up. Maybe forearms is where you go. Maybe you roll your left foot out on the left outer edge. 
Maybe you bring the back foot in if that feels good. Whether you're in the forearms or if you need to lift up, that's fine. And maybe you reach your left arm back for the right leg. Notice how that feels on this side. Each side is different. And then while keeping the hold of the foot, if you did that on the other side, shift the hips slightly back. Uh, notice if that's okay with the back knee that's not going to be okay for some of you and that's totally fine back to front again into the hip release the foot slowly the left hand comes back in crawl your left foot slightly on in, bring the left knee in towards the shoulder so the knee comes on the top of your left ankle. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, pause there, find something. Drop your right heel down, open the hip, push up through the legs, coming back to warrior two, straighten your left leg, uh, neutral through the hips, up and over reverse triangle. Arms go to a T, maybe adjust the stance. If you need to, reach, 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 Trikonasana. Again, hugging the left hip under thigh, scissoring towards each other. Engagement through the right quad, lifting by the upper arm, engaging the left side obliques. Pressure big toe mount of your left foot. Another inhale, look down for balance, left knee bent, arms go down, frame the foot. Plant your hands, three-legged dog, left leg goes long. Bend your knee, flex your foot. Shoulders move forward first over the wrist, supported side plank or flip dog. And give it a breath here or two. Lift the hips high, open through the chest. Left the, uh, let the upper arm just drop. Rolling yourselves back. Plank or three-legged plank or knees halfway down. Inhale, heart comes through. Roll over your feet, downward facing down. Stay here for a moment, check in with the breath, check in with your body. Notice what that did or didn't do for you. Big breath in. Out of your mouth, let it go. Another breath in. Out of your mouth, let it go. Drop down to your knees, cross your feet, sit your butt behind your legs, extend your legs long. Keeping them apart just a tad, maybe one fist or two fist. Finding the sits bones, maybe take the flash out of the way, ground in a little. Pull the belly in and up, chest rises, check in with the low back, arms reach up over your head. Start active through the feet at first, we'll release them eventually. Hinging at the waist, the chest is going for the distance, arms are going for the distance. Keep the gaze lifted as you come forward towards your toes. Flat-ish quality to your upper back, find your ankles, shins or toes. Engage your biceps, pull your chest through. Maybe dropping the shoulders slightly down, exposing the neck. So it's like your head is trying to come out of your, um, your collarbones. It is so humid. <laughs> Every now and then there's like a tiny bit of a hint of a breeze and then it goes away. And then it's like sauna over here. Just sharing the environment in case you were wondering what it feels like here on the porch. Another big breath in, lift through the chest some more, pull with the gaze and release completely. Let go. Drop the arms, drop the head and shoulders and neck, release the legs, the feet, the belly, just settle into gravity. Give your weight completely into gravity.
Notice the heaviness spreading through your body. Gravity pulling your weight down in towards your mat. Notice the moment you stop moving, where does your mind go? Can you keep your mind oriented in onto your body, onto your breath? Notice any urge to move, notice any discomfort arising. Can you breathe into that? And if you do need to move, go ahead and move, but do it with purpose, do it with meaning. Right, do it, do it consciously. And notice as you do move, what happens? What um, sensation does it create in your body? What release does it provide? For any tightness, any stiffness, any tension, any residual muscle engagement. And if you find anything anywhere across the shoulders or in your jaw, in your groins, inner thighs, or in your hips, consciously release. Focus your awareness onto those places and soften as best as you can can give your body weight to gravity, allow the space to appear and allow your body to lean into that space that has presented itself. Oh, there's a little bit of a breeze. <laughs> Finish your exhale completely. Slowly start bringing your upper body up. Shoulders find a way over the hip line. Pause right there. Simple noticing of where the body lands. Lands, rather. Beautiful. Now bend your knees, could you sit a little closer to your feet, soles of the feet onto the mat. Grab underneath the kneecaps, lift up through the chest, and then lower all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Keeping the legs as they are, if you will, just kind of drop down onto your back. Flatten the shoulder blades onto the mat as best as you can. Keep your left foot where it is, bring your right knee in more so in towards your armpit and give your right knee a little bit of a squeeze again the left foot is bent sole of the foot is onto the mat now you're going to interlace your hands around your right foot and bring your right foot up towards the sky now nudge the right knee outside of your rib cage a little bit so as if you would really want to put it into your armpit right sole of the foot is up in towards the sky and if you need a strap or a shirt or a um um, strap or a shirt or a towel around your foot, that's totally fine. I was gonna do twist, but then I realized I had a pregnant woman, so twist is definitely not the way to go. <laughs> no, this is way better. This is way more suffering for everybody, so this is great. And then, so what you're doing here, so notice I'm standing on the vein side, gently pressing into her thigh and then pressing down on her foot, just adding a little extra weight to the gravity. And then you wanna give into this, you don't really wanna pull, right? You just wanna let the weight of the leg, you're just kind of keeping your leg in place with your, um, with your 
with your hand. And then if you feel like you want to extend the left leg out long, you certainly can. while you're pregnant, it's going to help your labor so much. I'm sure the guys really appreciate this, this helpful tip. Keep it in mind. just got into it so much deeper, I don't even like really have to do anything, and then now when I leave, you'll be able to see yeah. there. Yeah. It's honestly one of my favorite adjustments because I feel it's so helpful. I guess Naveen just said, unless you can do it against the wall, so if you would lay sideways against the wall, that would actually really help because it wouldn't let your leg go like out. It would kind of keep it in place. That's a really, really good point. Thank you. For the, for the, home, for the home practice, when you don't have the teacher to give you an adjustment, you can do that. And then if you have your left foot extended, bring it back into the bend, release the right foot and put it back down onto the mat and just pause there, right? So no wiggling, not too much of a release. Allow the body to come back into its neutral on its own. And that can really only happen if you just give it a little bit of a time, right? It doesn't have to be long, just a moment. And just notice where the body lands in this moment. And keeping the knees bent, crawl your feet slightly off to the right. Keep the dis distance between your feet though. So your right foot is going to be slightly out off to the right. Your left foot, you know, even distance. Drop your knees off to your left. And then just notice how the right quad and the right groin and front hip flexor, it extends down through the center of your mat. Give that, yeah, give that a little bit of a, give that, give that area of your body a little bit of a space. So a direct, direct counter, if you will, with a little bit of a, a super, super gentle twist. God's totally cooperating. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't jinx it. Imagine like five minutes later <laughs> the sky will open and I'll just drop. Oh, that would be funny. And then slowly coming back, bring the knees back up. Adjust the feet back into its neutral position, about hip width or tiny bit wider actually than hip width, if you will. And then the left knee comes in towards the armpit again. Give your left knee a little bit of a squeeze. Kind of, you know, notice if you can negotiate some space through the hip there. A lot of the times people pull the knee directly more so towards the heart. It needs to go off to the side, you guys. And then interlace your hands around your foot, 
Again, bring your foot up. If strap, towel, or t-shirt is necessary, use that. So if your foot needs to be up there, that's totally fine. Just kind of grab something to hold on to your foot. And again, notice where you land, where the posture starts. Notice how two sides of the body are different. So I feel like this is your not less cooperative side. Mm -hmm. Less cooperative side. You notice how the pose evolves and shapes as you're sitting in it, or laying in this case. And allowing the body to soften into the shape as best as you can. Oh, look at all that space that just showed up. Nice. And sometimes, that was pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a little longer than that. Again, feel free to extend the right leg if that needs to happen, if you feel like you want to go there. And then obviously you create, you like provide more space, but then it creates an extra dynamic for the, for the foot that is in half happy baby. And then as best as you can, again, try to soften the pull of um, the arms on the leg. Just kind of keep, use the arms to just keep it in place. You're not pulling, you're just holding it in place. Allowing the gravity or whatever the external force, in this case, my little extra push on Naveen's leg here to bring the foot um, for, or the leg rather further into the stretch. Finish your exhale, slowly bring your extended foot back in, sole of the foot on the mat and release slowly the left foot out onto the mat again, pause right there. Again, allowing the legs to kind of re their space on their own, letting them be for a moment. And then dragging your feet slightly off to your left, keeping the distance between your feet, off to the left. And then dropping the knees off to your right, or like down, off towards the right. Allowing the left knee to extend directly forward into the front of your space. Birds have a lot to say today. Wow. Okay. The wonders of nature. <laughs>
That's for sure. I like how you all ran at the same time. You're like, whoa. <laughs> All right, slowly release. Um, yeah, bring your knees back up. I did not distribute blocks because we didn't know if, we, if this was going to happen. So no restorative bridge. Um, okay, instead, Sukta Baddha Konasana. So look the feet, feet together, um, knees wide apart. And then bring the shoulder blades. Wow, you guys. Come on, seriously. Shoulder blades underneath together a little bit just to... Flop the chest out as if you were, you know, propped up a little bit on something. Like we packed this one really good with all kinds of good one, good stuff. Now before we settle, one more, one more thing. So you guys slowly reach for the knees and help the knees out, or up rather. And then extend your legs long as if to Shavasana and put them to the opposite corners of your mat. So the right foot further out to the right, left foot further out to the left. Nice. Arms reach up and over the head. Yeah. Now the left foot is going to come up and cross the right ankle. Now keep your right foot where it was. Keep it off. Do not move the right foot, yeah? Cross it all the way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the right hand grabs the left wrist and your banana shaping off to your right side, which is why the right foot was where it was, right, on the corner. Slowly take your left foot up, put it all the way on the other side. Arms come into neutral, the right foot comes up and all the way across the left. Switch the grip on the wrist, left hand grips the right wrist and your banana shaping off to your left.
across your feet again. Bring them back into a part. Find a neutral. Maybe wiggle out the legs a little, wiggle through the hips, take your arms back down. If you want to squeeze your knees into the chest before you come back to Shavasana again, you can do that, but you don't have to, up to you. Aww, good job you guys, you all did. <laughs> Lay the head and back down first. This is what happens when you develop a routine of how you're getting into Shavasana. And that's really great, like routines are good if you're doing it consciously because you're establishing your space, right? You're establishing your resting space and that's great. Soften through the hips, soften through the shoulders, soften through the face and the jaw. Draw a big breath in through your nose, out of your mouth, let it go. Release completely. Take a moment to settle into your space. Letting your body digest and integrate what you have just offered. time that you dedicate to your practice, that you dedicate to yourself, to connecting with your breath, with your body, and with your mind. As usual, on Thursday I will leave you in Shavasana. Please do stay as long as you need. If nap is in your future and you have the ability to do that, feel free to take it. Otherwise, in your mind's eye, if you would bring your hands to heart center, showing gratitude to yourselves for showing up on your mat, showing gratitude to all the other yogis that you're connecting with while you practice, mindfulness into the breath space, into the heart space, and the sacred that unites us all. From my heart to yours, always from my porch to wherever you are, Namaste. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, feedback, requests, if you want to join me on the porch, please do let me know. We have all kinds of space now. Um, we will be back on Saturday at 9 o'clock usually with the maybe rainy, well if rain allows because there's a little bit of a rainy situation going on in Florida mm -hmm. so we'll see what that looks like so if we can we will deliver something Saturday 9 a.m. otherwise I will see you on next time thank you <laughs> oh, oh, I know thank you guys